hey guys welcome back to another video welcome if you're new don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button and let's get right into today's video so it is monday we're back at the start of a brand new week i hope you guys are doing great so for today's video i'm going to be unboxing this new dip powder set from model ones this is their city blossom and model ones spring launch and i'm super excited i have been saving this package for a while now so i'm really excited to go ahead and get into it to me this packaging is just beyond beautiful like it was just so pretty and then over on the back we have the directions and the warnings and how to contact them if you were to have any problems with the product so once again here's how the front of the box looks which is super pretty and then open it up here's what it looks like inside as you see you get the complete dip set the first thing I'm going to show is the user manual. As always, it just shows you how to properly prep your nails before applying it. Then underneath that, it also shows you how to apply the dip powders. I love that it have pictures. I feel like you can easily follow along with the pictures. And then over on the back, we have how to remove the product, which is super nice because I feel like a lot of people don't really know how to properly remove dip powders. And then underneath that we also have some more tips and tricks on how to save your brush or anything just tips about how to apply the dip powder next we do get this really pretty postcard and then also we get a mini 100 180 grit nail file of course you would need this to reshape and file the nails we also get this brush here this is just to remove the extra product i really love this brush and i just really love adding these brushes to my collection i don't know for some reason i just love adding the brushes to my collection of course we get the three dip liquids which are one two and three the base activator and top gel and all of these bottles are 10 ml so i do feel like you get a good amount of product here's what it looks like up close and i'm gonna get into the dip powders later but underneath this little plastic tray we also get two replacement brushes just in case your brushes get messed up with the gel base because as you know if you don't take care of that it will get sticky and like clog up so just in case you aren't careful enough, you do get two replacement brushes. So here's an overview of the dip powders in the kit that I chose. Um, I did have a choice on which one I wanted and this particular one is called the New York Bright Skyline Collection. I will have a link down below. And I chose this one just because it has so many colors to choose from. And when I took these out and swatched them and just seeing the colors up close, I was so happy that I chose this one because the colors were just so beautiful. So these jars are 8 grams. Um, I do feel like the jars are a bit small for dip powder, but you do get a good amount. So if you are into longer nails, you may want to consider doing the like pour method when doing the dip powders. If you're doing short nails, I feel like you won't have a problem with them. But yeah, since we do have a lot of colors, I'm just going to let this part play out, speed it up a bit so you guys can see the colors really quick and I also will end up swatching all of these colors on camera so of course I do want to make this go by a little bit faster just so that it doesn't take as long So now it's time to swatch the dip powders. I am going to be using the step one, which is the dip base to swatch these on the inside of my swatch sticks. And I was hoping to get full coverage swatches, but the jars are so small. I couldn't even fit like the whole entire swatch stick in there. So I will just end up swatching like the tips or however far the swatch stick can go. So I'm just going to go ahead and do that, swatching all of the colors.
and after a very long process of swatching all of these colors here's what they look like it was just so many and it took me so long but i really did feel like they had some really pretty color combinations like this one for some reason this one was just so pretty to me i love that they have included some nudes into this kit they also have a few glitters they have all of the primary colors like it was just so pretty and once again this is the new york bright skyline collection it has so many beautiful colors this is only one coat of all of them and then also i did go over the top with a top coat just so you guys can see them in the full effect so i really do like these colors and honestly i just could not choose which one i wanted to use once again, I will make sure to have this particular kit linked down in the description box just in case you guys want to check them out. And let's just go ahead and get right into the nail set. So I did decide on using the pinks. For some reason, the pinks were just screaming my name, so I had to. Um, here's what they look like again. And I'm starting off with my natural nails. Of course, I've already applied my peel-off base because I don't plan on wearing these nails for long. For the nail tips, I'm going to be using the full cover 3XL nails that I get from AliExpress. I also will have everything that I use in this video also linked down below. So I'm just going to size them out to my nails. To apply these full cover nails, I'm going to be doing the oppressed method using my Bellavina 4-in-1 base coat. I absolutely love this stuff. Um, I got this in the mini the mini luxe kit from Bellavina. It was like a nail tip kit. I will have that video linked in the cards just in case you guys want to check it out. I do think this 4-in-1 base coat is only available in that kit, so you will have to purchase that, I believe. This step, pretty simple. I just put some base coat inside the nail bed area of the full cover nail tip, and then I just start at the cuticle area, work my way down, and flow that product to the tip of the nail. Once I get it on straight, I do cure it in the lamp. And also, once I get these all the way on, I do cure it in my bigger lamp for another 30 seconds just to make sure that they are fully cured. So these are already pre-shaped, but I am going to file the tips of the nails just to remove that little piece of plastic before I do my dip application. And of course, when doing the oppressed method, for me, I do get some spillage sometimes, no matter how neatly you put this. I just feel like this step is super important because you want to make sure these nails look as natural as, as possible. So I do take my e-file in a sanding band and just work around the cuticle area just to clean up any of that spillage from the base coat and just to get these nails looking really nice and flushed. And also I did decide to go ahead and just file the surface of the nails to remove that shine. You will get a better adhesion to the product if you do work with a buff surface. So since I do have some extra long nails, I did pull out these trays. I wasn't sure if I was going to do like the um, dip method or the pour method. I pulled out some of these glitters from Secret Nail Affair. I wasn't sure how I was going to incorporate them, but I wanted to use these for this look I had in mind. And I am going to start with the step one, which is the dip base. Recently, I have been using like regular gel base coat to do my um, 
dip powder nails i just decided to use the actual dip base because when doing the swatches i really love the consistency of it so i was just like i'll just go ahead and use this and i absolutely loved it it, it worked really really nice for me so I did decide on doing the pour method. Um, I just went ahead and applied some of the dip base to my entire surface of the nails. And then I'm just pouring this all over my nail. I'm making sure to get every area because if you miss spots, you will create lumps when having to do second coats. Once I pour on the nail, I do like to tap the nail um, just a little bit to get it to kind of like sink into the actual um, base. And then here's what the nail looks like. It's super pretty with this glitter in it. Also, before it dries, I do quickly go around the cuticle area and just wipe down the sides to um, wipe any areas that may take away the shape or get hardened on my nail. And I don't want that. So I do make sure to take that time to just go ahead and do any cleanup. I'm gonna allow that to dry for a few seconds or a minute or two while I do the other nails. I am gonna repeat the same process using that same glittery pink on my middle finger and my thumb. And honestly, I'm not like the biggest dip powder fan, but this dip powder made me like really love dip powder for some reason. Like I don't know if it was just like the process or how the nails turned out. Um, but like this was just super easy and I absolutely love using this dip base for some reason this dip base was just super good like like I just love this dip base so much. I'm very happy I decided on this pink color with the glitter because it was just so pretty. So now that I've repeated that to my thumb, I am just taking my glove and just cleaning that around the cuticle area. I did allow this to dry for a few seconds off camera and I'm going back to my pinky and middle finger. I'm just dusting off the excess dip powder from those nails. And as you can see, before I dust off the excess dip powder, the opacity was very nice. Um, but when I did brush it off, it turned a little bit sheer and transparent. I do think this sheerness is very pretty, but that's not what I was going for. So I am going to repeat this process, adding a second layer over all three of these nails um, just to build up that opacity to them. I think we all can agree that the dip process is very simple. Um, I have been working with dip powder a lot lately and I do think my application is getting a lot better and a lot smoother. So once I did repeat that for the glitter pink, I am gonna go to the two remaining nails which are my pointer finger and my ring finger. Um, at first, I did want to do like a marble. Um, there's different techniques on how to marble dip powder. Sometimes I do feel limited when doing dip powder. So instead of just doing solid nails, I did decide to spice it up just a little bit. So I did try to like marble the dip powders and add on two colors. And when doing this, I completely messed up and I started pouring over the glitter, over the pink without separating the trays. So I did get some of that glitter pink into the regular pink. And this was an absolute fail. Um, I did not see any marbling, maybe because these colors were just like so similar. And here's what that nail looks like. As you can see, like you can't really see any marbling, just like two areas where the glitter is at on the nail. 
in the tray where I completely forgot um, so I just mixed that up and I ended up pouring it back into the one with the glitter. I thought it was best to just pour it into the one with the glitter compared to putting it in the one without glitter. I did the marbling technique also to my ring finger but as I was like wiping off the excess dust it wasn't how I wanted it to look so I did do a second layer and I just went over the entire nail using that solid pink without the glitter because I do have some of the sassy glitters that I got from Secret Nail Affair and I will just be adding that into my nail set so I'm just going to go ahead and let this part play out as you guys see it's very simple um, my thoughts on this kit I do love this kit so much you have so many colors to choose from and I absolutely love this base and not to mention this is not like their only spring collection they have a ton of other kits i have seen people unbox and review them they have some really pretty spring colors as well i didn't try step three which is the basically like the dip top coat i don't like those because every time i use those they make the nails like very sticky so i don't really like using those i just typically go for a gel base but here's what the foundation to the nails look like and i'm really happy that they turned out nice so going into the um, hardening process, I am taking step two, which is the activator. And I'm using a generous amount to go over my nails. And using the activator, it just hardens your nails so you're able to file. Sometimes depending on how thick my nail is, I do like to wait like five minutes and then go over it with another layer of the activator just to make sure. Um, but since I only did two layers, I felt like the one coat was good enough. So I did allow that to completely dry and I wanted to take some of those glitters and add it to um, my points and fingers. So I'm putting on some base coat and this is just some regular base gel. Of course, I didn't want to use the step one because these, glitter, these glitters would have just dried into the nail. And um, I'm taking my brush and I'm just putting this on in like a, like a, around the center of the nail. And I didn't like how it looked, so I wiped it off and moved to my middle finger. This is the one with the glitter already in it. Um, just because I did want to use these glitters, um, I wasn't sure how to even add them now since my plan didn't work. I just put a few of these glitters onto the nails that already have glitter on them. I wasn't really sure how I was filling them, but I just went ahead and kept them anyway. And I'm just going to be repeating that to all of the nails with the glitter, which are my pinky and thumb and of course my middle finger. And since I am using some gel base coat, I did go ahead and cure them in the light. And once they have cured, I am going to be taking these brat decals. I got these from um, Glam Pack Shop when they had their um, Black Friday sale last year. This is like my first time using anything from them actually. And I wanted to use these because I had pink nails. Believe it or not, I was going to do like some extremely short nails since I was doing dip powders and those jars was like really small. But once I got out my little short nail tips, I just decided I wanted to do them long. And let me just tell you the quality of these um, water decals. They are really, really good. I absolutely love them. I will be purchasing more just because I love the um, quality of them. They were really easy to use. And I just like them, so I am cutting out the two that I want to use, which are the pink brat and then also the little brat logo. For water decals, I did fill up my damping dish with some water, and I'm just putting my water decals in there. With water decals, you want to make sure that you have all of these surrounding areas around the print cut out. Otherwise, you will have a lot of excess to like glue down to your nails. You want to leave these in for about 30 seconds usually it takes like 30 seconds um i wasn't sure i didn't completely leave them in for 30 seconds well the first one i didn't um so here you see me i'm just taking that out 
and this water decal is just so so pretty like i really really love these brat water decals and it just slides easily right off the paper and as you can saw it was really pretty on the paper but when i put it onto my nail her skin just becomes like a really bright pink highlighter color and that's just because the base of my nail is pink at first I wasn't sure how to like fix this problem so I pulled out my white gel polish from a cart and I removed the water decal and on my nail I did like eyeball where I wanted her head and like her skin area to be including her face and her arms and I went ahead and cured that onto my nail and giving it a white base it kind of just acts as like a background color so that her skin won't be like pink highlighter and as you can see that worked so perfectly um i didn't it's mostly on her face like her arms are still kind of highlighter pink but you can't really notice it i think everyone will just be attracted to how pretty she looks so yeah that worked i went ahead and make sure all of these sides were pressed out into the nail i did have to go a little bit along the sides with the the step one base just to kind of glue it down a little bit and while doing that the second water decal was in there for a really long time and so I just went ahead and put on some of the dip base onto the nail and basically I just glued that down and it worked very nicely I think using regular nail glue also would have worked and when I did put it on there I did use these tweezers to kind of like get all the areas smooth and stuff and when I went over the nails I did notice I was rubbing some of the print off I think it was like the part between the R and the A you can't really see it on camera but I noticed it of course because I'm the one who's doing my nails so once I got both of my water decals on here's how the nails are looking so far and I just think they look really cute my original plan was just to um, add a top coat I did feel like my application was good enough to just add a top coat but once I finished filing and reshaping the nails, I did kind of get an idea. I did want to add more of those like glitters, those sassy glitters that I got from Secret Nail Affair. So I did end up cheating a little bit. Um, I did use some clear acrylic to add on some of those glitters and to encapsulate. And I went ahead and did all of that off camera and this is how they look like I just really love this acrylic look to them and like I said before when I did my encapsulation with poly gel when I used dip powders there's no rule book telling you you can't use acrylic with dip powder and poly gel with dip powder so I did that off camera and I really end up loving how it looked so I'm taking my bling box I got this from Aliexpress and I was gonna use these pink hearts just some choices laid out I also have these AB crystals and rhinestones different shapes and sizes then also I have these like clear iridescent bow charms mostly bows I do see a set of like flowers but mostly these are like um bows I wasn't sure how I was gonna add all my charms like this process took me so long I just didn't want to like overpower my water decals and add too many charms so while I'm thinking of what to do I did want to go over all of my nails with the top coat just because it's easier and like I always say adding the top coat with such a pretty design behind it is just so satisfying to see these glitters and just the bright water decals it was just so satisfying to me I'm gonna be adding some top coat to all of my nails and then I'm gonna cure in my light and then I'll come back and figure out what I want to do adding my nail charms I am just gonna let this part play out just because I don't really know how to explain I just went with the flow and just added all of my rhinestones If you are still watching up to here, I just want to say thank you so much for sticking with me up to this part of the video. If you haven't already, make sure to like this video and drop a comment. If you haven't subscribed yet, please make sure to do so. I have noticed a lot of my viewers are not subscribed, so please make sure that you go ahead and subscribe. Um, also, make sure that you are active and liking and commenting to be entered into my monthly giveaway. If you haven't heard, I do monthly giveaways now, giving away $50 to one subscriber. Basically, all you have to do is just be active, just comment and like my videos here and on Instagram. 
Um, and also, I do have some giveaways coming up. I, I have two planned giveaways. I'm not going to say what they are yet and when I'll do them because I'm just not sure right now. But I do have some giveaways coming up. So please make sure that you have my post notifications turned on so that you'll be able to see that video when I do announce it. After sitting there and just thinking and thinking, I did end up doing this little swirl design on my middle finger. Just something simple. I felt like it was a really pretty, um, it wasn't too much. It was like the perfect amount of bling for this design. And then also for my pinky and thumb, I just added some coming down from the cuticle area. I went over with another layer of top coat just because I wanted these to be extra glossy from all the like trials of adding the rhinestones. I did leave like some smudges behind. Also, I did add some cuticle oil and this is how the nails turned out. I absolutely love this set. I'm so glad that I didn't go with the shorter nails because I wouldn't be able to create anything like this on like shorter nails. I absolutely love how this set turned out. Like look at this detail up close. It was just so pretty and super girly. My favorite part are definitely the water decals, like the brat and the swirly design. Also, I really enjoyed using this dip powder set from Model Ones. I will make sure everything is linked down in the description box below just in case you guys want to check it out. Also, I do have a 10% off discount code with Model Ones. Please make sure to use that to save some money off your purchase. The main thing I really love about this kit is so many colors that you can choose from. And then also, I really love their base, which was step one. Like recently, I have been wanting to use like a gel base and just cure on the dip powders. But the gel base in this kit honestly made me like reconsider. And also, I have been thinking about selling press-ons, building me a website. And if I do, I feel like this would be one of the designs I add on there just because I can easily replicate it. And I think you guys would like this. So comment down below what you think on this nail set. And as always, don't forget to like and subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next video.